Can I happen next meeting? More observations are better. Okay. Anybody else have anything for staff? Uh, just a very quick word of thanks uh, for Christmas and the park, both to the mayor, but to staff, to Jeff and his folks for putting it together. And yes, obviously the chief was there and, and, and most of his team. So obviously it's one of the, the highlights of the holiday season here in Gardner. It went off without a hitch. We got blessed with great weather, but I appreciate all the effort that went into it. I know the citizens and all the people that were there and all the pictures that showed up on Facebook afterwards. Everybody looked to have a great time. <laughs> uh, Mayor Don Roberts from Edgerton, I made sure to thank him because it was obvious. That was the highlight of my boys' night. Uh, he loves Santa Claus, but fireworks is the chump card. So. Uh, thanks to all those that were involved. It was a great night. Yeah. Stole some of my thunder there because I was going to I was going to mention that, but that, that's okay. I think they say the first though. I think yeah, yeah. First. but you stated all that eloquently. I don't think I need to double back on any of that. Uh, but I also wanted to uh, recognize all the members that uh, of the city of Gardner that took part in the Citizen Police Academy. I want to thank uh, uh, Chief Columber and his staff for for putting that on. Uh, I went for the uh, well, graduation commencement uh, ceremony uh, here recently and, and boy it's nothing but high praise uh, for, for the Citizens Police Academy. I know we're planning another class in the spring and uh, definitely looking forward to uh, seeing uh, if it fills up as, as quickly as the first class did because that, that filled up in, in no time at all. So, thank you, Mayor. But thank you. Thank you, Chief. Anybody else have anything? Does, and if not, does staff have anything for council? Yes. Um, when we developed the budget this, uh, for next fiscal year, um, although not directed by council, staff was asked to reduce uh, expenses to be able to develop some new strategies. Um, tonight we're going to provide you with a final copy of the document, and we're also going to highlight one of the cost-saving mechanisms that we put in place with going to a digital magazine for the budget. So we'd like to have a few minutes um, to kind of show you how that operates and how you can use that and how that will provide a higher <coughs> level of customer service for our residents that might also want to take a look at the budget. Um, Councilman Freeman asked that we kind of look at a different example of the budget and kind of get a different final document. So this is a reflection of uh, that request with the final document for next year. And with that, um, Jeff, if you want to kind of just walk through the digital budget, and then we're going to show you how that also applies to the parks and rec component. Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank Cheryl for her encouragement and support and and. Uh, to yeah, that's that's why I was going with this. <laughs> sure. Sorry about that. Uh, the the desire to uh, not only find uh, ways to to save money, um, but improve our communication with our citizens and visitors of the community, um, and, and with staff really. Um, special thanks also to Aaron Grove who has worked uh, worked closely with us to find. A good resource to be able to provide some digital publications, um, which you'll see two of them this evening. Um, I'll just speak uh, um, briefly on uh, uh, on some of the cost savings associated just with one department, uh, with Parks and Recreation, uh, by moving towards this uh, digital format, um, all digital format. Um, we will save uh, on five publications that we've done historically on an annual basis. Um, we will save uh, near, nearly $14,000 a year um, in, in postage, uh, in delivering those, those products, and the printing of them. Um, so we're ex excited to show, uh, show this this evening. I think Kimberly has the budget document uh, up that she'll uh, aid in, in scrolling through some of the pages here. Um, this, is, uh, this is a publication that uh, can be viewed on mobile devices as well as the uh, personal computers um, and, uh, and can easily be zoomed in on uh, items of interest and, and so forth. So I think it's nicely done. It's very professional looking. And uh, for a first stab at it, I think uh, all the staff involved has done an amazing job with, uh, with, uh, with this document as, as well as the 
uh, activity guide that you'll see here soon. So um, we hope that you enjoy it. Um, certainly uh, want to encourage you to give any feedback, uh, any tips that uh, you, you would like to give uh, moving down the road because uh, the other thing that's nice about these digital copies is they're easily changed all the time. Um, it's not like you print something and, and uh, can't change it. So um, we made a change on ours today uh, very easily. So um, Kimberly, if you could switch to the activity guide too and we'll show uh, another example. <coughs> So this will be the first uh, activity guide. Um, to my knowledge, we will be leading uh, those in, in our field in, in producing all digital uh, communication information. Um, I have not found anyone in, in the metropolitan area or the region that, that has made this step, but we have a lot of agencies that are extremely <coughs> interested in how we're doing this and the success that we hope to have from it. Uh, so Kimberly is, is scrolling through a few pages here of it of what we have. Uh, the other thing we like about this is is really space is not uh, a, an issue for us. Um, so we're able to add some some information in here that we haven't typically added before. Here's an example right here. Um, obviously, in the spring and summer, we have a, a large number of seasonal positions uh, that that we uh, advertise for and and bring on board to our team. Um, so we're able to, to insert pages like this uh, into such documents that, that people um, certainly can see and, and uh, contact us uh, with their interests. Uh, Kimberly, if you wouldn't mind going to the table of contents at the front. The other thing that we really uh, like about this uh, particular doc document <coughs> might have to lick your finger to make the page. <laughs> um, you see over here in the table of contents on the left, if, uh, if you could just go to, say, recreational soccer um, to the far left, very far left. Youth there you go, youth, youth athletics. athletics. And athletics. And athletics. There you go. There Click go. on that. Yeah. It'll take you straight to the page of whatever topic you're interested in uh, learning more about. And then from there, you see we've embedded some links. So if, if a customer wanted to learn more about uh, what's taking place for that particular program, they're all tied into the city website as it stands today for additional information. Uh, and even better yet, um, and Kimberly, you don't have to click on it now, but uh, uh, they can even click on the register now button. So while they're at football practice or a football game, they can register for their next, uh, next activity on their mobile device. Um, so we're excited to launch this. We're hoping that a lot of our, our customers and, and uh, the citizens and, and visitors to our community will, uh, will enjoy it as a resource, um, something that will be readily available to them. Um, so we're very excited to, to launch it here. And um, As you folks have a chance to look through, be happy to answer any questions you have or, or uh, accept some of your feedback too. But thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Mayor, that completes the uh, staff update. <laughs> okay. Certainly entertain a motion to adjourn. No, Ms. Second. Motion Harris and <coughs> should that we adjourn. All those in favor in the case by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, we are adjourned. <laughs>